Hello and welcome to the course of web development for IoT. So in this course we require few softwares to be pre-installed in your system. So on this line, the first software we are going to install is the XAMPP server. So before installation, we shall understand the meaning of the XAMPP. Here X stands for cross-platform means it supports multiple platforms. A stands for Apache that is the name of the local server. M stands for MariaDB that is a database management system. P stands for pre-hypertext processing language and P stands for Perl. So these are the two programming languages available with this software. Next we see the downloading part of the XAMPP server. So in order to download the XAMPP server, go to your browser and write it down XAMPP download for Windows 10. So right now I am using 10-bit Windows. So I will be downloading it for Windows 10. So the first link that is given by apachefriend.org is the link from where we will download this XAMPP server. Click on this link. Now you can see that it gives you the three versions or the variants. First for the Windows, next one is for the Linux based system and the third one is for the Mac OS based system. Here I am using the Windows based system so I will be downloading this portion. So in this case you can see there are three versions that is 7.2, 7.3 and 7.4. So this 7.4.9 is the latest version. Click on this download button and the installer will be installed in your download window. After the successful download, you can find out the installer in your system. So right now it is installed over here. So before we proceed for the installation, make sure that your antivirus is turned off and you are not logged into the admin account. If it, your admin account is a password enabled, just make sure to disable at that moment. Just double click on this jam, click on yes. So your installation is going to be start. It's a warning message. It shows if, if you are logged in with the admin account, which is a password enabled. So just disable it else. Just click on the OK. So right now I don't have any of the admin password. So I will be clicking on OK. So next it will ask you for the setup wizard. Click on the next. Then these are the by default settings. So it is recommended to keep the settings as it is. Click on the next. Now here you can see the default folder is the C drive so you can change it. So I will be changing it and I will be making it as web technology in this folder. I will make another folder with the name of XAMPP installation. So it will help me in memorizing that. So click on the next, click on next, English language, okay, click on next. Now you can see it is ready for the installation part. Click on the next. So finally it is preparing for the installation and the files which are uh, get downloaded it will be unpacked. So this unpacking of file will take 7 to 8 minutes. So we have to wait till unpacking is done. So now you can see all of the unpacking is done. So the last step is to click on the finish. So once you click on the finish, you can see the XAMPP control panel. So on this side, you can see the different modules available on this XAMPP server. It's Apache, MySQL, FileZilla, Mercury, Tomcat. So this all is the control panel for your Apache server. So now I'm going to click on the start button to verify whether my server is working or not. So I just click on the start button. Here you can see in the bottom that your app is trying to attempting to the run. So and the status is running and the port is assigned to your Apache server. So in case this is the default port, if you want to change it, you can change it by the configuration setting. So these all are the modules. So if you want to uh, just run these modules, just click on the start button. So click on stop to stop your server. So in this way, you can start and stop your local server to develop the web applications. So thank you very much for watching this video.